I have another flashlight I want to share with you today. This is the Ace Beam T35 Tactical Flashlight. If you're interested in hearing my thoughts on this light, keep watching. All right, just before we get started, I want to thank Ace Beam for sending out the T35 so that I could share it with you. Now, what we'll do, as always, is go down to the tabletop where I'll go over the light's key features, its physical and performance specifications, as well as its modes of operation. Then we'll get it outside and do some demonstrations. Just before we focus in on the light itself, I thought I'd share with you what it came with. This is the box the light arrived in. A good amount of information on it. It did come with a USB Type-C charging cable, a pair of spare O-rings and spare battery port cover, a lanyard. Of course, it did come with a manual and warranty information. Inside of the light is a 2600 milliamp hour 18650 battery, and you can see it came equipped with a removable one-way pocket clip. Now, it did come with one more item, and that is this nylon belt holster. Um, I'm not sure if this is one of the reasons they refer to this as a tactical flashlight or not, but quite honestly, this could have been left out of the box and you would have been no worse off for it because this is just not a quality item at all. Certainly not something you would wear on a duty belt as a first responder. I just wanted to get that out of the way now. now. All right, let's come back to the light. Let's go through its key features. So it does have a high or a turbo setting for this of 1900 lumens, which would result in a beam cast of 380 meters. Now it does also have two operating buttons on here. The one on the side, this is for changing the lumen settings and that has a tail cap switch, which is for turning the light on and off. And I'll show those in operation in a few moments time. As far as the physical specifications for this light goes, overall length 5.4 inches, 137 millimeters, diameter at its widest one inch or 27 millimeters, weight with the battery in it, 4.9 ounces, 138 grams. And it has a waterproof rating of IP68 and an impact resistance rating of 1.5 meters. Now the performance specifications for the T35, as I mentioned, it has a turbo of 1900 lumens, but that's only going to last for 60 seconds before the heat protection technology drops it down to 800 lumens, but that will then last for an additional one hour and 30 minutes. It has a high of 800 lumens, lasting one hour 35 minutes, a medium of 360 lumens, lasting three hours and 50 minutes, a low of 100 lumens, lasting for 16 hours, and an ultra low of three lumens, lasting for 400 hours. The light does also have a strobe setting, which will blast out at 1900 lumens, lasting only three minutes. Now, as far as the operation of the T35, it is very simple in nature, and I'll just point out how this works. To start with, this is the on-off button, as I mentioned a moment ago. The tail cap switch operates the turning on and the turning off of the light only. It does nothing to do with the lumen setting. So you can do a momentary press by partially pressing. You can see the light will stay on only as long as your fingers has pressure on the button or you can lock it on if you wish as well. Both good features there. Now, if you do want to change the lumen settings anywhere from the ultra low all the way up to the turbo and including the strobe, you do it all from the side button. So in order to do that, you first turn the light on and then you can cycle through the lumen settings by quick tapping as you can see. Now, if you want to access the strobe, you just press and hold. One second will give you that. If you turn the light off and turn it back on, it comes back on at the last lumen setting. All right, we'll start the Ace Beam T35 off on medium. Quite a bit of light for medium. There's quite a bit of central hotspot surrounded by floodlight. I believe that's showing up on camera quite nicely. Kind of the best of both worlds. Take it up to high, significant increase my backyard, my neighbor's backyard, and the neighbor beyond, and turbo. Yeah, that is a lot of light in a small package. All right, let's wrap this video up with a few closing comments for the Ace Beam T35 Tactical Flashlight. So what do I like about the flashlight? Well, first and foremost is the beam itself. As you saw when we got it outdoors, it has a good, tight, central hotspot, which will cast out 
quite a long distance, but still has enough of a floodlight on either side to allow you to pick up anything that you might have otherwise missed. Do you know, I know this is a small thing, but I really like this coyote brown color for the light. I know that's not a deal breaker, but you know, it is kind of attractive just the same. All right, those are the things I like. Here's the things I really don't like about this flashlight. First and foremost, this is not a tactical flashlight, despite the fact that Ace Beam refers to it as one, and despite the fact that it has a tail cap switch. And the reason I say that is a tactical flashlight, at least in my opinion, has some very specific requirements before I'm going to use it in that mode as a police officer or first responder of any other kind. First off, I want instant and direct access to turbo and strobe right away. No pressing buttons, no going through lumen settings to get to them. I want to be able to use them when I need them with very simple operation. I also want direct access to the lowest lumen setting. Now, the reasons why, of course, you want the direct access for turbo is to momentarily illuminate an area very well. Same thing with strobe, to momently, momentarily illuminate the area and cause some discomfiture to anyone that you're aiming it at. That's a defensive tool as well. The low light is also important because I don't want to have to go through low or medium high, low or whatever settings to get to the lowest beam. The ultra low setting is also a tactical light when you need to be very discreet with alerting your presence to people but still be able to see something that's when you want that low. So those three things are what make a tactical flashlight and this one just does not measure up in that nature. Having said all of that it's still a good EDC light. The fact that you can set a lumen setting for this and then leave it at that lumen setting then use the tail cap switch to turn it on and off or momentary whatever your choice is that actually is a good feature in an EDC flashlight. It's just not a tactical flashlight. Okay those are my thoughts on this light but I'm also interested in hearing your thoughts on on this light. Put them in the comments section below along with any questions you may have and I'll put the specs for this light as well as the links where you can take another look in the video description. But until next time get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.